Um, Amy Reinhart from Air Minor Hockey versus Southwestern Ontario. I just have a question about your scoring system. So the rating system that um, has been used. So in the past, we've used a one to five rating system for the evaluators. Would it be more um, ideal to use a one to 10 rating system to be able to have more of a differentiate um, between being able to pick like a three or a four or like, you know, a two, three, four to a six, seven, eight. I'm just not sure how it is set up. This is my first year um, running the evaluations. Yeah, it's a great question. The, the most common criteria, most common scoring scale we see is one to five with half point increments, which technically is the same as a one to 10 full point increment system. But sometimes it's not quite as apparent to coaches. So if you do make that a one to 10 scale, because you have more players and you want more differentiation amongst all those players, that's a great way to go for sure. And one thing that I, I do recommend to some of my customers that I work with is think about like a one to six or one to seven scale, because then psychology says it's a little harder to find like that middle number, you know, one to five, it's like, how many threes are you going to get? Probably a lot. One to seven, they kind of have to pick between that like three, four, five range, just a little bit more confusing on them. Or one to six, same thing, you know, then you got to choose between the three and four. So sometimes the one to five and one to 10, there ends up being a lot of threes, 2.5s or fives, but throw in like one to seven, one to six, that confuses people a little bit more and allows for more differentiation amongst the player scores.